somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at The Man from Uncle. This is from 2015, and it stars Henry Cavill. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I got his name right. We got a little bit of heat in the comments for some of the past movies for mispronouncing Mr. Cavill's name, so we wanted to make sure we got right. Either way, um, I have seen this movie before, but only once uh, around the time it came out, so I think it'll be a real treat uh, for me as well as you to watch these guys. Right? I am ready, willing, and able to see Man from UNCLE. I think this will be a lot of fun, and so I cannot wait to dive in it and have no idea what it's about. First time watch for me. Yeah, big Henry fan over here because uh, he wants his chest rug 12 out of 12 handsome 12 out of 12 chest rug i mean what are you gonna do grow a mustache for one movie that was a i mean straight gangster <laughs> made it work love henry cavill yes thank you uh to the person who said it's just like travel you know word association common yeah. common words that are pronounced the same <laughs> it's, uh, it's brilliant we love you can't wait to watch all right without further ado <laughs> let's go Oh, that's neat. Jeez, my dad would have been what over there a year there later. Oh, yeah, we were just talking about 64 that. 64 to day. 68, my dad was over there and right by the wall. I think we know who that is. <laughs> Look at the shades. He's got a very trustworthy face. Surely, come see better. Oh, it's Fräulein Schmidt. She is that Ruben. <laughs> you look important. Well, I can get you over the wall. Do you consider that important, Fräulein Schmidt? Who are you and what do you want? I'm here to have a friendly chat about your father. I don't mean your late foster father, the mechanic. I mean your real father, Dr. Udo Teller, Hitler's favorite rocket scientist. After the war, he came to work for us. Two years ago, he disappeared like steam from a tea kettle. What makes you think I know where he is? I don't think you do, but I think you know someone who does. <laughs> he was forced to work for them. So, why don't you help me? With what? My offer is, come with me now and be at a chic little hotel in West Berlin in less than an hour. Stay here and spend the night with the Russians, hanging from a pipe, having your toenails removed. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> do you mind terribly if I borrow your car? Oh, what a gentleman. Are they still following us? Yes. <laughs> is there one of them? Just hum if there is. Mm -hmm. Does he have just one hand on the steering wheel? Mm -hmm. When you hear something that sounds like a gunshot, drive. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you get it? Let's just hope he doesn't drive as quickly as he moves. <laughs> nice. Take a right. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Just oh. reading the paper in the back. Might be a new DK. Well. <laughs> Hold on. Look at that. The 180 parking job. Reverse down the sidewalk, and then drive around the block. And uh, meet me back here. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Just total confidence. That was a pretty mm. slick sequence right there. But has he done so? Nah. They need to avoid typical American spionage. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that kind of <laughs> shot with a pistol from that far away at a oh, moving man. target. 
That is well, a professional. Let's assume he's highly trained, I suppose. Very. <laughs> Why don't you take a shot at him? It just doesn't seem like the right thing to do. <laughs> Trunk lid. <laughs> Run like a T-1000. This road isn't going anywhere. All part of the plan. Now put your foot down and drive a little fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All we have to do is get over two 20-foot walls and a minefield. Now what? <laughs> Take an O left through the window. The papira. Have a kind of sight. Whoa. What are we doing here? We're looking for Agent Jones. Whoa! Ah, there it is. The grappling hook. All grappling hooks. <sighs> Love them. Oh, that has to be a nice jacket. Yeah. Right over Yo, the wall. Reverse. <laughs> oh, a little bit short. Step back. <laughs> that was slick. Uh, it looked nice and easy. This place isn't chic. It isn't even a hotel. But it's safer, and the food isn't bad. <laughs> He's here. I trust that Miss Taller was helpful. But off on Trush is the best shot. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you told me this was going to be a simple extraction. They were waiting for me. Don't flatter yourself. They follow everybody. How long was your prison sentence? You owe me five more years. Now you report for duty tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. sharp, and with a better attitude. <laughs> he just smiles. <laughs> this might be... I guess I could probably pull that off. I mean, this might be Henry's coolest role I think he's ever done. Anything in particular, sir, or are you just looking? What I'm about to feed you, Solo, might taste a little bitter. <laughs> Nevertheless, you're going to have to swallow it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps watching. The old rear naked choke. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jim. Oh, what a setup. Uh. He said, don't kill your partner on your first day. <laughs> you know what he said. We believe that the Vinci Guerra Shipping and Aerospace Company in Rome, where Miss Tata's uncle Rudy is a senior executive, is in fact the cover. Sergio Vinci Guerra was a friend of Mussolini and a known fascist. Rumor has it Sergio was responsible for smuggling the Nazis' gold. It is now run by his son, Alexander. Well, he's more playboy than tycoon. <laughs> A lethal combination of beauty, brains, and ambition. Now that the old man is dead, she's running the show. We believe they are responsible for Dr. Teller's disappearance. Imagine the consequences if he builds an atom bomb for them. Your mission is to infiltrate this organization. We'll leave you to the get acquainted. <laughs> wow, <laughs> not right. awkward at all. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Everybody look gets her everywhere. <laughs> Well, with your dad being a big pal of Stalin's and how old were you when he was sent to the Gulag? Was that when the psychotic episode started? I do wonder if it was your father's shame that gave you such drive, though. Or was it your mother's reputation? Oh, boy. Easy, <laughs> easy, easy. These guys are going to get along great. Just fine. Just <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm not going back behind that wall. That's what they'll want. You don't have to go anywhere that you don't want to go. My woman would never wear anything like that. Told you, we're teaming up with the Russians. Doesn't get any more Russian than the Red Peril here. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Peril. Because I am now your fiance. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Gabby? Gabby. Wait, it's your cover. And naturally, you'd introduce him to your beloved Uncle Rudy. 
What's your cover? Jack Deb, antiquity student. Vinci Guerra family just happened to have one of the finest collections in the world. Wow. You'll do fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need two purses, please. And every day in the clutch. And grab that belt. She's not going to wear it too. What's wrong with it too? Nothing. If you're fat, <laughs> your goes with the rabbit. Have you seen the price of this handbag? It costs more than my car. Apparently the uh yeah, <laughs> not bad. Look at budget this. for the uh, <laughs> Russian uh, government is high. <laughs> now we are engaged. Boy, what a what a romantic! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! He says. <laughs> if only I were so smart to say that. <laughs> I will. Congratulations! I love you. Congratulations! <laughs> it's our boy. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy your stay, Mister Waverly. I hope so. Is that you? These camera shots are so cool. Oh, so I think it, I think it was because we saw his name in the credits, but I think that was him. They're teasing. Where are we going? To see the sights. Why don't you tell me a bit about the steps? And these steps were constructed in 1723. Really, built by Russian. Sergei Ivanov. Sergei also had the mother. Yagada, his mother died in the middle of construction. She died at 100. He was 35. So 135 steps. So she gave birth at the age of 65? <laughs> <laughs> You're being followed. I know. They diverted when you turned down the steps. So I imagine they'll be waiting ahead for you. What's going on? You're being tested. Someone is trying to make sure that your fiance is really an architect. Oh, and you should there. do as he says. Imagine being trained like that and just having to take one for the team. Mm -hmm. Make it like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> nice shoes. Thank you. And give me some money for coffee. Give the gentleman something for coffee. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Nice watch. Give him the watch. And the ring. Me the watch. Oh. oh, oh, he's not used to taking that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna start. <laughs> Yo, throat punch, throat punch. Get some every time. Calm down. Not very good at this whole subtlety thing. <laughs> oh, he, he just, just comes, comes walking <laughs> right up. That man stole my father's watch. Russian architect would fight. You two are supposed to be looking after me. So why am I playing mother, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Either you start to look like you know what you're doing, or I'm out of here. <laughs> I apologize, it wasn't brought up earlier. Is there anything else I can do for you? It's a fine bottle of champagne. Be ashamed to drink it alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm still on duty, Mr. Devaney. Pity. My shift ends in five minutes. Sure we can find something to do for five minutes? <laughs> this guy trying out for Bond? Ilya is some place on this girl. And I'm coming. I'm going to get some rest. There's a party tomorrow to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Inchiquara shipping. Uncle Rudy has invited us. Would you like bigger glass? <laughs> I will finish this bottle. Are you gonna help me or not? No. Thank you. <laughs> Kicked in rather quick. <laughs> this is not a good idea. I'm going to bed. Please turn this off. <laughs> Some glasses. I need a partner. No. No, as you can dance. Oh. <laughs> and then. Oh. <laughs> I love how he's just starting to smile and then gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> 
Still no drink? Don't you make me put you over my knee. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to dance? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> but you do want to wrestle? No, I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> 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 are we supposed to believe that a kgb agent well you know she could be an agent too i shouldn't say we don't know yeah but do you think he's really gonna try try well you know every time i've been in this situation as an international <laughs> spy, spy yeah you know it's it's tough doing the right thing were you the spy or were you the cover yeah let's call it both oh. there you go oh <laughs> she just passed out. She's a koala bear or something. <laughs> Good night, little chop shop girl. This time, I do need to go. <laughs> that is disappointing. Ah, another one. Uh huh. Every article of clothing, everything's got trackers in it. Russian made. <laughs> These <laughs> are American <laughs> made. That bow tie doesn't work with that suit. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> <laughs> it's got a different it tie. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh look at it. a mess. <laughs> Good morning. Maybe I get you present. Bump the brakes, my Russian friend. Your fiancé would have gone out first thing in the morning to replace it. Do you, fiancé? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, those cars. Oh. Hey, hey, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> Watch out to you. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Your invitation? Of course. Then I leave it in the jag. Could you please come with me, sir? You know, someone named Capra, Mr. Latour, Llama Le Mani Dos. What are you doing? Thank you. But, uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Victoria Ventaguera. Do a bit of an apology, it's an order. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm okay, I think. My pearls. <laughs> Is this beautiful woman I hardly recognize my favorite niece? You are a miracle worker, sir. I want to hear all about how you managed to get her out. <laughs> For three weeks! <laughs> Jack Devaney, call me Star Contessa. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started when I was brought out to make improvements on nine kilometers of the wall. And did they make you build the wall as well as design it? They shaped like a power lifter, not an architect. <laughs> <laughs> I like to joke. <laughs> <laughs> I like to jog. Contessa's a little heavy with the lipstick. You're a little light with your fingers. Well, hmm. I doubt you'll miss it. Trust him, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know that the equity of aristocratic blood is not appreciated by most communists. But a good German girl knows never to mix the blood of a racehorse with that of a cart horse. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sure our waitlister can defend himself. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Keep telling me, you guys feel a good machen pinches. What is it exactly that you think you can do for me, Mr. Janet? Let's just say I fill gaps in important collections. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's very sehr töricht von ihm, irgendwo in Europa zu sein. Sie heiratet seine einzige Tochter. Aber ich fürchte, ich kann ja nicht mehr. Und was hätte Cosi? Und dann noch ein Schiller drauf. Ja, ich muss continue. Oh, see. Yeah, I was just wondering, is he going to have to take out his aggressions? We need to use the sink. So use the ladies. <laughs> oh, the old shut the door. The old shut the door. 
Grazie di mettere il carburatore più grande, di disconnettere il contatore. Have the jets been cleansed and totally rechecked for size and flop? Oh, really? Mm. You want to fix it? So I just need the wrench. I'm not groaning. I can see us having lunch tomorrow. Darling, time to go. Sorry. Another time, perhaps. Leaving so soon? Ilya isn't feeling very well. But we've had a wonderful time. Thank you, Uncle Rudy. I wonder who it was that he uh, that he messed up. Mm. Where's Carol? He's been in there half an hour. He's been spending a lot of time in bathrooms recently. Super agent here decided to have some fun with three young Italian boys in the men's room. Your new boyfriend is a Nazi. <laughs> I don't know what you're upset about. You're not even my fiance. As far as he is concerned, I am. So like I said, it's not happening. Wow. Obviously he's developing photos. Yeah. These blurred lines here means they've been in close proximity to radioactive material. We need to move quicker. I'm gonna go sleep on this. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, everything he wears. I know. He just looks so cool in. Makes it work. Everything this guy wears. <laughs> He looks so cool. Because back at the party, I was like, wow, I'm really digging the fashion on everybody, you know? <laughs> I suppose you're responsible for the lights. You're welcome. We have approximately 10 minutes before the power comes back on. I'll let you tag along. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Super hardened boron sharpened with a CO2 laser. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. CO2 laser. CO2 laser. <laughs> laser. <laughs> Hardened with a CO2 laser. He just busts out a CO2 laser. <laughs> Problem? <laughs> just let me do it. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> that fancy thing. It didn't work. Yeah. So I think they're showing, yeah, that each will balance. E each will have their own balance, special. Yeah. Keep on the gantry in five minutes. Oh, oh nice. I love, I love that old school oh, screen breaks wow. like that. This is so cool. To per fare il portiere, non l'attaccante. E mi raccomando, tutta la visita. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did he do to him? KGB, we call it the kiss. Although he's standing upright, he's completely unconscious. Why do you think they have radiation tools and suit in the satellite factory next to hidden button? Ooh. Uh, if you're going down there, I'd put those suits on. It's a little bit harder to break into, huh? Yeah. Vought Bender Landsman 7010 model. It has dual combination locks and synchronized cylinders. Still, oh, very difficult to open, but it's not. Oh, oh neat. The they're shooting this is so cool. Oh, wow, oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Look how they got the camera right on the door. Yeah, that's really cool. So that way it yeah. stops right on them. <laughs> Did you deactivate the alarm? Model 7010 doesn't have an alarm. <laughs> Cowboy. Just the... <laughs> oh, they're all empty. Oh. A lot of sensitive equipment in there. Yeah, that's just, what I yeah. was firing off. It's just ripping off rounds. I am not staying here. Where are you going to go? Swimming. Shoot the glass. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well>. Stop! <laughs> <Let> me... <laughs> <laughs> How long have they both made the mistake? You're not gonna make it! Just shut up and watch me work! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, cowboy! <laughs> Always. <laughs> Dude's out there getting just getting sprayed, and he's in here having himself a picnic. Whoa! Ooh.
<ride> Pronto, Vittoria? Uh, Mr. Devon is room, please. He's uh, out. <laughs> Going to Aspen. <laughs> oh, look at that car. Ich glaube, es ist nicht zu spät. Hey, wir haben nichts. Ich habe mir überlegt, ob ich dich morgen nicht zum Essen ausführen kann. Bis dann. Apparently, uh, you're pretty powerful yeah. when you can just say, I want somebody's hotel room. Right. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Grape? She's just gonna leave? You've bugged him? Tried to bug me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like he needs your help. Sure, Victoria believes him. No. Give it everything I had. <laughs> <laughs> so what, we just let Gabby go with Uncle Rudy? Do we have a choice? This could be like leading lamb to slaughter. Going soft, Peril? <laughs> <laughs> Your tracker is not sending a signal. Do you turn it on? I think so. Or do you want to check it? Be my guest. It's it's yours, tracker. You're the expert. I'll be on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> so his hands aren't cold. Mm -hmm. Very gentlemanly of him. Still cold. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing down there? You're trembling. That's because I'm scared. Mm. It's going to be okay. I'll be close by. Oh, you can just cut that just tension with it. All turned on now. <laughs> all turned on now. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, that's cool how they did that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Young Count Lippy, a count. Wow. That's that's close by? Uh it's close ish. Mm. Definitely not uh emergency dive in close. Have you, have you seen it run? He'll get there in no time. <laughs> He'll get there in no time. It. So your Uncle Rudy thinks we should have a little chat. I know my father is here. And that he works for you. Why is Uncle Rudy peeling grapes? I think I need to make a telephone call. So now you're going to eat it? The old flip up shades. That's where it's at. <laughs> Your father's work ethic has been as of late somewhat lacking. You leave my father to me. Wärme den Stuhl off. Have the chair warmed up. You don't look like you slept much last night, Mr. Devaney. I think this scotch is helping either. I would say you put something in my drink. But how do you know I was going to drink the scotch? I didn't. I laced all the drinks, Mr. Solo. Oh, boy. You were doing fantastically well. However, you couldn't control the loyalty of young Gabby. My fiancé is a KGB agent. Oh, oh shit. Like that. The Americans thought they were using me. But I was using them. She seemed so innocent. Sleep well, Napoleon. Only my mother calls me Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's uh, had enough of whatever they lace that stuff with, uh, and maybe not. Maybe yeah. <laughs> it's like a Mommy princess bride. <laughs> the fifth horseman, doctor of the apocalypse. It was not three individuals, but the tireless work of a single artist. And today you have the privilege of experiencing his work firsthand. Hello again, Mr. Sutter. Oh, so sorry, I can't stay to finish you off myself. I'll send your cards to little Gabby. That reminds me of Rambo, too. Oh, the light flickering. Yeah. I was kind of thinking lethal weapon a little bit, but he's not in a hallway and it's not uh, pouring water on him. Well, I mean, obviously it was a lot different in Rambo, yeah. but just the bulb flashing. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. He was neither tall nor handsome, charismatic or amusing. Because of this boy's 
apparent shortcomings. He was bullied mercilessly and relentlessly by the other children. He saw them as instruments of learning. He decided to make their cultivation his life's work. History gave him an unprecedented opportunity, a world war. He's not supposed to be mangly, is he? You will go here, Mr. Solo. A whole page just for you. Is a chair laced with kryptonite or something that he can't get out? <laughs> there are two kinds of torture, Mr. Solo. Must <laughs> admit, this does get frustrating. I'm actually quite pleased to see you. You doing okay, cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> he got him quick. <laughs> The Reich Marshal will take delivery tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. They're sending a submarine. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll be right here. We have to get to that island. Watch we do about him. <laughs> <laughs> on the one hand... Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. It's a world of information. Is he going to start <laughs> on fire? Yeah. Oh, no. Now that skill says never wanting for employment. So what do you think we should do? <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> on fire. Jesus. Oh no! Oh, look at the light I shining on his face. <laughs> well, they fi fixed the glitch. Yep. He fixed the glitch. Damn. Oh my! Oh my! I didn't. I got to be honest. I didn't see her turning Do, on both doing those the, guys uh, like that. Doing the double cross, huh? Unless it's a double triple cross, mm -hmm. like they have to play it off. She likes slapping people. It is vital you retrieve Dr. Teller and the computer disk. You are the key to the U.S. of A winning the arms race. Kill the Russian, if necessary. Oh, boy. You have British agent on this? Well, she's not British. Gabby's mm. working for you, isn't she? Uh, well, well done, sir. Yeah, got there in the end. <laughs> he got God, there in the God, end. God. Oh, so she's Brit. Okay. Sie beobachten jeden einzelnen Arbeitsschritt von mir. Umarme mich. He's ready now to resume his work. A daughter's touch. Gabby has agreed to assist me. To assure a finish in time. I saw her betray us at Vinci Guerra. I told her to. The meeting is confirmed. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was 304. Yep. She knew that the ring you gave her was bugged and that you'd be listening to every word she said. That would give even the average Russian agent plenty of time to escape. And of course, you're not average, are you, Kirillik? And you're special. Look, I, how cool would it be? I just own an island. Yeah, mm -hmm. with a castle on it. So what does that do? It sends a signal which enables another missile to lock onto this one for double the impact, converting it to nuclear. It's redundant. Whoops. Oh, swappy, swappy. True. What are you doing? Let's both stop playing games, shall we? You don't hear from me in 20 minutes, killer. You can start by putting back the correct lens, Professor. Oh, jeez. Oh. We shall go in through the front door here at the harbor. Jockelson and his men will get you in there and keep the enemy entertained. The rest is up to you. They're expecting that, though. Yeah. Oh, got the old Chuck Norris Zodiac boats. <laughs> I wanted one of those so bad when I was a kid. You, you still want one of oh, those. That's yes, true. You stole it right out of my mouth. Like you God, I would one want one of those right bear. now. It's still be fun. Well, what I do with it. But. No, I know. Want a bagel? Victoria, è arrivato il momento di partire. She'll be joining you shortly. Whoa! Oh! Didn't expect that. Ooh, oh, right through there. This is so cool, the way they're shooting yeah, this with all the different... It gives oh, you everything at yeah. once. They did that before where they merged the screens back like that. That's so yeah. cool. Uh, Looks like we found Dr. Teller. Just hip fires. <laughs> There's the watch. <laughs> yeah, he's looking out for his guy. Yep. I'm here. Alexander has Gabby in the bomb. They're at the entrance. Oh! <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> Put it on the goggles. 
Yeah, uh -huh. that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Alright, he's got the snorkel on it. If he doesn't have a snorkel, no. he's not going to be able to make Can't it through. Make it. Had to take the long way around. Oh, oh the old, old skimming it. Yep. Water skipping. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, always gets the turn. Oh. Oh, oh <laughs> lost the wheel. The, it's like the karate kid going down oh. the hill. Oh. Well, there's a roll cage. And a bomb uh, in there, though. Yeah. So. Ah. Got KO2s, KO2s on, there, on there. I don't know if they uh, had those back then. Uh, I know my tires. A uh, little bit of an error there. Yep. With they, the film. They didn't have those tires back then. Uh, they've been around for 14 years, 12 or 14 years. Uh. So. Oh. 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 Uh. No, that'll work. <laughs> Just threw the motorcycle. Oh, he ripped off a, tr a trunk. Uh-oh. He got it. It's popped in the head. I'll be okay, Beryl. <laughs> it's okay. That's one. Yep. So it's a decoy. No, no, no. It's a real bomb. Not nuclearized. There's no uranium in it. No other vehicles have left this island since last night. That includes submarines. They're spread out over a 60-kilometer radius by now. Don't even know which boat we're looking for. Having built Vinciguerra into one of the biggest shipping companies in the ah, world. Yep. Right before he passed out. Putting it together. The Adama. That's Sergio Vinciguerra's old fishing boat. I have an idea which might make things quicker. That's the, the other. The yep. Going yeah, upstairs. Uh, scientist, he's... He doesn't want the fate of uh, Teller, so... Oh. Ten minutes and counting. Oh, cool. Jesus. That's old school tech. Yep. Gotta keep him on the line for ten, ten minutes. minutes. Hello, Victoria. I suspect that you're already listening. Earlier today, I killed your husband. We're wasting our time. This isn't working. We need an you could just to... shut up. Thank you very much, Captain. <laughs> I appreciate your message, and now I have a appreciate mine. Any blood relation of yours still living will be dead within a year. After we deliver the warhead, you so desperately sought it. Oh, they're offloading it right yeah. now. We've been locking onto your radio signal. It won't help you much. We're gone in five minutes. Coupling device that you so considerately left us on your decoy warhead is accurate to ten feet. I have an idea which might make things clear. Oh, boy. Sends a signal which enables another missile to lock into this point for double the impact. 45 seconds ago. Giving you about 30 seconds until impact. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for entertainment? Oh! 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 Bye! Oh, that will work. All packed. The bellboy is on his way up. I'm sorry. I really wanted to tell you, but... I would have done exactly the same thing in your position. Sorry about your father. Cowboys invited us for a drink up in his room, if you'd like. I have to see Waverly. Oh. You don't want to say goodbye to Waverly? Or to in case we don't see cowboy? each other again. No. You should keep it. That way I can keep track of you. Are they going to finally... Oh, oh, they got interrupted by the bellhop. <laughs> they got me. Dude. <laughs> oh. Да, Тогда почему мне доложено, что он американца? Uh, he's going all oh. Motley crew on the hotel room. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> well, at this point, it would be, what, the who? Well, Someone like that around this time? Well, spinal Tap. Yeah, spinal Tap? <laughs> a little, little early for them, maybe. Come in. 
Just finishing up. Fix us a couple of drinks. I think we've earned them. See, having Johnny Walker there? Mm hmm. He knows exactly what he's looking at. Oh. Almost forgot. Got something for you. Oh, no. oh, got him the watch. You know what my mission is? Same as mine was. Kill me if necessary. To get that. Ah, <laughs> yes! There you go. I was hoping that's what they'd do. Yep. Absolutely hated working with you, Peril. <laughs> You're a terrible spy, cowboy. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Nice view, glass of whiskey, and a little bonfire to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, spoken to your superiors. They've kindly agreed <laughs> to let me keep the team together for a while. Where are we going? Istanbul, Kiryakin. Oh, and you have a new code name. Yes, rather a good one. Uncle. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. All oh, right, man. folks, that, that was the man from Uncle. That was a fun one. A guy, Richie, just the guy can do no wrong. And what I really liked about this is for me, we got to see Henry Cavill in a much different role than what we're accustomed to. He really got to turn on the charm. I was kind of saying uh, to Oak, I felt like this was a James Bond audition. Mm -hmm. Uh, similar to some of the other actors who've had their names tossed around to the possibility of playing Bond. They've kind of had similar movies or shows where they're, I've felt they're maybe auditioning. But this one was a lot of fun. I don't think I would put it up there as Guy Ritchie's best stuff. I mean, he's had some absolute bangers oh, that yeah. have just been next level. This one was fun, but I don't think it's, you know, it's up there in his upper echelon. But I still enjoyed it. Like I said, this is one that I had seen before, but it's been a long time and there was a ton of details in there that I did not remember. So this was a lot of fun for me to go back and watch. But yeah, Guy Ritchie delivered, Henry Cavill delivered, and a very kind of unique well i guess not completely unique story of you know two opposing agents being forced to work together kind of that buddy cop vibe but i thought it was done in a way that still had a unique feel to it and hugh grant they had him in there just enough to kind mm -hmm. of keep you curious because i could kind of tell the answers like well, where's where's hugh grant at you had him well, in the like credits a, where is yeah, he exactly and yeah. i saw the two glimpses of him then i was like wait i think that's him there wait i think that's him yeah. there so but you know a lot of fun scenes in this army hammer had the scene in the bathroom with a couple of italian guys giving him a hard time and the role <laughs> that he played of you know the hardened kgb agent trying to keep it together and, and stick with the role that he has to play and struggling with that so that was a lot of fun and in the end he got the watch back thanks to henry cavill so again this one was a lot of fun not my uh favorite guy Ritchie movie by any means because the guys had so many hits but this one was definitely a lot of fun and i'm glad i got to watch it with these two guys for their first watch yeah this was a very fun watch it was fun seeing <laughs> cavill the way that he was in this movie where he is you know, being like a kind of a smarmy smug, but like straight to the point, but then also having his little jabs in there the whole time. Just great. Always had that little smirk. Had to always be like he was the smartest man in the room. But and like even when he knew he was he was drugged, he's like getting the pillows ready. <laughs> and he's like, Well, you know, I felt like crap before. So like, you know, it lays down Hurt nice. <laughs> and then what I loved what they did was like that the whole time Gabby was, you know, a part of the British intelligence and was you know looking to cross them to right now uh, right then and there to get to the island so that way they could track her there and try and save it and then oh when he pulled off the first one he saw the the, the doom buggy i'm like there we go yeah, and then he, he did the old what is that and he just <laughs> you know, i would have done the same thing i mean he probably gave up a little speed but he needed that performance to be able to go up that hill but just the whole spy espionage they mixed in the right amount of humor that had me laughing like the whole time it was nice to see jared harris we had we yep. we loved his performance in chernobyl so it was nice seeing him in a completely different role you know and then yeah hugh grant i was like where is he <laughs> and then we see him for that little tiny bit and i'm like oh he's he's just gonna be a small player in this i mean it did say and hugh grant to be honest yep or with Hugh Grant, one of the two at the beginning of the movie, so I wasn't sure 
how much he was going to be involved. But then it turns out, of course, of course, he's British intelligence. So you have British, then you have obviously Russian and American. So this was just fun all the way around. Great spy film. I agree. This was definitely his uh, his audition for Bond, and I thought he did pretty good. But still, remember he's a little bit because he was still superman buff during that so he's still a little bit too big to get away with being bond and uh you know they i saw on our we're looking at the wikipedia page that they said that they would love to do a sequel and i would definitely be on board for it um where it ranks is guy Ritchie films i would have to look <coughs> at all of his work at all of his work and what i've seen but this is this was i really like it, and this was a definitely good guy Ritchie film even with the when they're doing the the camera, shot. the camera shots where they use the grainier cameras mm -hmm. sh shots and then where they had the frames upon frames and all the all of that going on on screen like i said i saw an incredible hulk back in the day which was fine in the movie theater when i saw it in the theater but when you watch it on the little four by three yeah. the four by three you yeah. know tv at home it's like what what happened to that corner what happened to that corner but nowadays you know you know even watching it on a nice monitor it's big enough that you're able to see everything i just laugh thinking about like this is how big the screen used to be on a tv that i'd watch <laughs> from the back of the room now it's you know a little bit bigger so it, it works perfectly now that they can do that in the movies and everything's widescreen so yeah i really had a fun time with this movie and my apologies i should have let you guys yeah, go jump, first jump, jump, i'm, I'm jump, sorry right I, was, I was all excited he's all Eager. excited Normally they would go first i apologize excited he was you know this uh, i think some people might you know get on me a little bit for this one but guys i thought this movie was awesome <laughs> <laughs> like the answer is scrolling we always scroll through get some facts whether it be imdb or wikipedia yep. or rotten tomatoes things like that so you or, like to also we, know we the actors at, you know yeah. we glance at box office numbers and a general critical response and it seems like people felt like it was you know it was good but it was kind of you know like you know mason quinn saying it's not guy Ritchie's mm -hmm. best film and here's what i think about guy Ritchie. okay i think he is just he is peak level filmmaking genius okay mm -hmm. so when i watch something like this and i i feel the tone the pace and everything this is exactly what guy Ritchie wanted he wanted it to be a little bit different he wanted it to have this the spy elements it didn't need to be a mission impossible right. like edge of your seat i mean and and all those different types of movies have their place it didn't have to be a james bond like super spy tech everywhere in there i mean if you look at the the tech they had basically trackers and rudimentary yeah, the, the cutter maybe was the yeah, highest yeah i mean tech. the cutter the yeah. fast cutter um yep. you know um henry um cavill's character had of course um solo had his you know his his lock picking you know mechanism thing which was pretty cool but i really liked kind of the flow and the pace of this movie and i feel like it's what makes it so brilliant because i think a lot of times spy movies they have to keep you they feel like they have to keep you like constantly on the edge of your yeah. seat like there has to be some major <laughs> thing there has to be this and we got you know we got a chase scene Mm -hmm. With him in, you know, the off-road vehicle and the other guy. I don't know if that was and Land the two Rover. cars in the beginning. Uh, the cars in the beginning. Yeah. But they, look, were, take they, a left here. were they mission-esque, impossible, Tom Cruise-style chase scenes? Absolutely not. Did they have the tech of the Bond? Absolutely not. They didn't need to. Yep, found it. And had it been, like, and then this is what's weird about watching a movie knowing who directed it. Had it been a different director, I might kind of be like okay you know it was a good movie but when you think about it like okay guy Ritchie planned for this movie to be exactly the way it was exactly the pace it was everybody everybody in this movie did great with their acting you know and i've i've always thought cavill was kind of like a little bit of a stiff actor sometimes yeah. you know like i mean like, like the witcher and, yeah you yeah. know a little stiff and maybe yeah. this wasn't going to be his Superman. type of role you know he was he was he was good in the mission impossible we saw but i thought he was i thought he was great in this Favorite. you know army hammer did a great job mm -hmm. as, um you know playing a, a good russian agent um uh, alicia v vikander I mean, she, she was great. I mean, uh, everybody, it's great to see Hugh Grant in here. As yeah. the answer said, we got mm -hmm. to see Jared Harris um, not too long after um, having finished Chernobyl. So uh, it's, it's, it's great to see him uh, again. 
but I thought it was brilliant and it was phenomenal for being exactly what it was meant to be. And look, sometimes like from a like a, a watching experience, like these are nice movies to watch. You know, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like some of the Mission Impossible movies, there's they're exhausting like in a, <laughs> like, 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 in a, oh, catch like in a good yeah, way yeah. and you know it's yep. fiction but they can be exhausting you know and sometimes with the, the spy tech movie things it's cool you know with it's cool to see some gadgets like oh that's mm. cool and then they overdo it with some gadgets yeah here, like some of the pierce uh, brosnan bonds i'm looking at you <laughs> all right yeah. like we get it you know they've those. got tech you know that other people those. don't have now granted now if you you know, the 90s, if you look at some of the actual tech we have now, it's crazy. Right. Like, they're going to have cameras and glasses. Yeah, you can get those at Best Buy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? $3,600? You yeah, can get the yeah. Apple ones. Yeah. You, you know? Yep. But I feel like I know this was like, it wasn't the, the best movie for everybody, but I thought this was really good. It was mm -hmm. a fun movie to watch. It didn't keep you on the edge of your seat. Yeah, I mean, maybe some cliche, you know, the, the somebody's going to torture somebody, but they they flip the script on that. Yeah. And the guy was ready to roll right away. Oh, they, that was, and then, and then that was, was ready, I'll tell you anything. In the hallway. And then he <laughs> accidentally lit on fire. I mean, so they took stuff that you get from spy films mm -hmm. and Guy Ritchie put his own little twist on it. Answer brought up some of the shots and stuff like that. I mean, and, and that's one of the things that I will say, and you know, Diamond Dave mentions it a lot when he's on films because Diamond Dave does so much of the editing work and has, has so much hands on with the tech side stuff. But I think all, all three of us, when you watch movies in the capacity that we watch it, where you're just sitting and staring at a screen there's no distractions you know other than me talking too much um you notice stuff like that i think more than you would maybe in a theater or at your house so you know we're always like you know when before we started doing the channel i don't know that i caught myself in the theater or at home be like oh cool shot right it's look a new appreciation or, yeah. or look at the way they framed up yeah. that shot but you get a, a new appreciation for it when you're watching you know three four movies a yeah. week like like we do and i thought that was really brilliant about about this film and and like i said to, the only thing that i can really say is to the people who felt like uh you know it was a little slow paced and like it was supposed to be exactly what it was and for that i thought it was a really good movie so some people oh, oaks you know going over you know going off on how good it is it's a you know it's a mid-level movie but i don't i don't know i thought this was like and i know you you're saying for you guy Ritchie, not his best and look i mean some of the stuff we watched um the gentleman was phenomenal oh, yeah um you know i mean um brad pitt just absolutely killed it in mm -hmm. um oh jeez uh, help me the bo the boxing on the dags oh uh <laughs> snatch snatch yeah i, I was losing the, yeah. that one was, i'm trying to remember because i've seen more of them than you guys have so i'm trying to remember like did we do lock stock and two smoking barrels oh, yep, no i don't remember no, in that no 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 but oh yeah was snatch, this was snatch. brilliant yeah. so the stuff that we had and i haven't seen as much of his stuff as mason yeah. quinn has but the stuff that i have seen I thought it was phenomenal. Um, I yep. I thought this was a solid, solid movie. Very. So. And and uh, as we're getting to the, oh sorry. Uh, as we're getting to the scores here, you know, and, and that's kind of the You're thing racing. that I think with uh, with this movie, because it was based on an older TV show. And it kind yeah, of had that, that. that spy genre. You know, Guy Ritchie was kind of tasked, exactly like you said, Oak, like, okay, I can't make it a James Bond movie, and I can't make it a Mission Impossible movie, so how do I take a spy genre and kind of put a different twist on it so that it does stand out? And, you know, that's that was definitely a challenge uh, to pull off, and, and I thought they did a solid job of it. But like I said, I you know, there's some other stuff of his that I really like. Uh, you know, recently, Wrath of Man, with Jason Statham. That's one of the early ones we did on the channel. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed that. Of course, Lockstock was fantastic, The Gentleman. And he's got some new ones that have come out that I've been waiting that I haven't seen yet because of the channel. So it's been kind of uh, doing a number on me waiting. So this, but this one was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, 
all the actors did a really good job in this one. So 3.75 out of five answers for me. This one was a lot of fun, but you know, definitely for me, not Guy Ritchie's best stuff, but would I watch it again? I think I probably would. You would have watched it again, even if it wasn't for this channel. You're <laughs> selling it. You're selling it short, wow. I think. Just because you've seen all of them doesn't, oh, this one's better. Well, you, you watch some of those during the college days and your early adulthood days. That's true. Different so eyes. You have different eyes and different lies. Still a good that, story, though. No, it's a rhyme. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, you know, for me, I haven't seen all the Guy Ritchie, but yes, the gentleman, I believe I gave that almost a five, and then yeah. Snatch was always was amazing. But this was still really good and really entertaining. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of five answers. And, I mean, it's just fun to also see Henry Cavill, or Cavill. Oh, wow. Oh, you Put it on the counter. Oh, Put it on the counter. Get him. Put it on the counter. Gonna get him. Put it on the counter. Put, put wow. it on there though that I love this performance yeah. from him because he was so much more entertaining in this. Yes. And I mean, he's don't get me wrong, he's great as Superman. He's great in all, uh, in Mission Impossible. I haven't seen The Witcher, so I don't yeah, know. I only saw Can't the judge first that. season of that. But him in this role, he's he played it perfectly, and I I loved it. Yeah. And then Army Hammer was also awesome, just being like the non sympathetic <laughs> Russian at first, yeah. and then you know. It has strength. It, it, a it, giant. <laughs> so, a yeah. giant architect who likes to jog. Yeah, I had so much fun with this. Mason Quinn brought up a really good point that uh, that I really didn't even think of. You know, this was supposed to be take place in the mid 60s. 63. Okay. 63, yeah. It's so it's supposed to take place in 1963. So, oh, with all, with all the tech and stuff like that, you weren't going to really have like this mm -hmm. crazy you know, spy movie. It was in Europe, so you can do, you know, you can have a lot of fun with the car chase scenes, but you're not going to have, you know, these souped up BMWs. That's and, where I oh, thought that was great Martin, right away in the beginning. Martins well, they did. Like they had that. the racetrack. That was but, cool. But uh, the racetrack yeah. was definitely cool with some of the classics, yeah. but um, I, I do have to, I don't know if it's going to make the cut, so I am going to say in the wrap up, they did make the mistake when, um, <laughs> when the main bad guy's yep. truck rolled over, and I know this because I have them on my truck. I have them on both my trucks. Um, I have two pickup trucks. Um, I have KO2s on both of them. Mason Quinn has KO2s <laughs> on his truck. Um, and when the tight, when it flips and it's upside down, the tread pattern. Everybody knows that tread The tread pattern, pattern on the KO2s is, uh, it's BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. Um, uh, it's a very recognizable tread pattern, and those tires, I think, have been around for 12 or 14 years. Yeah, the original's say. probably been around since the 90s. Yeah, I but think. I think the KO2, KO2 came two. out in, um, I want to say at 12 or 14, so <laughs> got you there <laughs> a little bit with tires from yeah. uh, the 2000s. But other than that, a really solid movie for me, and I guess some people might think I'm going a little high with this one, but 4.75 for me. This yep. was very entertaining. And like I said, and this might not, I hope that makes sense when I say if it had been a different director, I may have, I may have just looked at the movie as a whole a little bit differently, but yeah. because it was Guy Ritchie and I'm like watching this, the whole thing, I'm like, you know what? This is how he, how he wanted it to be. Yep. So loved it. 4.75 for me. Really enjoyed this movie. And I, uh, thank you to everybody who recommended this movie yeah. because this was another one that I, you know, I gotta be honest, like I, I, I didn't, didn't even know it existed, you know? And, and I think had I, I probably now had I been sitting around or whatever in a hotel traveling or at home, you know, if, if Henry Cavill's Cavill, excuse me, I almost did it too. Oh, Answer. Oh, oh, oh. Cavill, get him. Cavill, caught get him. myself. Well, hey, we're catching Ding. ourselves. If Henry Cavill's face would have popped up on the TV, I probably would have watched it through. But you know, I don't know that I would have um, went looking for it. But this was a lot of fun. Oh. Thank you guys once again. Well, before we have an opportunity to screw it up uh, anymore, yeah. there, yeah. we caught ourselves like travel. So for for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.